Hi, it's Daryl here, and um, I'm going to be reviewing the newest game in the Rock Band series, which is Rock Band The Beatles. The videos of gameplay in this video are all of more to the game members playing. I should have put a bit now saying who it is. Just a warning, they're not going to be the best. Um, so, to start reviewing, those who haven't looked too much into this game, it is nothing like the Rock Band ACDC because that was pretty much a pack which you could export into Rock Band or Rock Band 2 and only had a quick play option. This is a full game with about 45 tracks, has a full story and career mode or whatever you want to call it and it can't be exported because there are new features like vocal harmony parts which I'll talk about later and the career mode is a bit different to a normal Rock Band game. It goes through set lists increasing as the Beatles journey through from their early work to their newer stuff. It's not like a normal rock band thing going through tours and increasing in difficulty. Right, when we were playing this, um, there weren't any particularly difficult songs, which did get a bit boring after a while. So um, we then decided to experiment with one of the main new features, which was the vocal harmonies. This lets you put multiple microphones into your PS3, Xbox, Wii, whatever, and have additional singers up to three to sing the uh, harmony parts with the lead vocals on the game. When you look for a song, as long as, as well as difficulty, it will tell you how many vocal parts there are, so you can always check. On disc, I think there are only three or four solo-only songs, about 14 with two parts, and about the other 30 odd are uh, all three-part songs. When you choose a song and go through it the difficulty screen, if you have more than one microphone connected, you can choose whether to sing solo or with harmonies. When we all decided to try harmonies for the first time, we all sort of thought it would be quite complicated and confusing, but uh, it was quite surprising how well it worked. Any microphone can sing any part and fill its bar up. If only the lead is singing, the others can sing as well to help fill the bar up if the main singer goes off pitch or stops. When a normal phrase is filled, it has a fab rating instead of the awesome you'd have on Rock Band. But when the harmonies are singing, you can achieve a double or a triple fab, depending on how many parts fill up their bar. You have a little bar on harmonies instead um, of the multiply disc that fills up on normal rock band or the solo mode. And even better thing is that the lead singer doesn't have to get a fab to keep the multiply going. If the harmony parts get a fab, you can actually still 100% the song even though the lead singer doesn't hit every phrase. As long as each phrase has got at least a fab, you will 100% the song. So overall, harmonics have done a very good job at getting this to work. The only annoying bit is when you have two singers singing different parts at different pitches over everything, which I think the only song I've found that on is Hello Goodbye, but that's just, you know, something the singers have to get used to.
Details and graphic on this game have been significantly improved from previous Rock Band games, with the characters looking very much like the real thing, including all their different looks as they progress um, as they get older, that even shows as well. But um, that's not the only bit that's been improved graphically. Um, all the fretboards, all the highways, the menus, they look a lot sharper. Um, even the crowd looks a lot more detailed as well. And another big thing that I, that has really impressed me is the loading times. They're even quicker now, which is great for anyone who's impatient and just wants to get on with it. But then again, I suppose we all are a little inside. <laughs> Probably about the main features and differences, other than that, it's pretty much like a normal rock band game. But, um, so to review it personally, I'd say it's a fun game. You can't take it seriously like with a normal rock band game, because obviously Beatles songs aren't exactly the hardest. Um, having a quick look through the trophies, they don't look too difficult. Um, just a bit time consuming where you have to five star every single song or get every single photo, just unlock stuff like that or um, get all the double fabs in every single harmony song and so on, that would be an annoying one. But one thing that I'd miss the most, even though it's quite small, is the custom drum fills. When you play drums now and you've got overdrive or beetle mania as it's called in this game built up you don't get, the drums don't stop and you don't get a custom fill like you would in Rock Band. Instead you just have a, a glowing green note where the symbol would be but you have normal charts up to there so yeah it's sort of when you activate your overdrive or beat mania it just sort of feels like you haven't done anything to activate it so it's just a small thing which I miss. Overall I would recommend it especially if you enjoy Beatles songs and I would keep an eye on the DLC as well because a lot um, not all of the well known ones are on the disc as I've heard they're planning to release like pretty much all of the Beatles songs and that probably wraps it up for now okay thank you